Hi everyone, this is Karina here behind the camera with Principal Violist Allison Dawkins as well as Baroque Concertmaster Craig Sorgi here to talk to you about Baroque bows. Can you explain the difference between a Baroque bow and a regular bow? Well, if you come to the concert on Sunday night, you'll see that some of the members of the orchestra are using their regular bows. Their regular bows, uh, Allison, you've got yours too, don't you? Our regular bows are like, they look like this. Um, these are pretty much standard and uh, they're a little bit longer than the Baroque bow. This is my Baroque violin bow. You see, it's, it's just ever so slightly shorter and it's, how else would you describe it? Well, the Baroque bow is curved this way and the modern oh, bow is curved is in recessed. It's a downward curve. The reason the, the bows were, the curve was reversed was that when Baroque bows were in use, music was performed in much smaller spaces and it didn't need to be very loud. But once people started performing in public spaces, they needed the music to be a lot louder and they needed to get a lot more power out of the bow. So bow makers figured out that if they reversed the curve, there would be a lot more tension on the hair and the sound would be a lot louder. Now, do people use Baroque bows for, um, for every time you have a Baroque piece, or is it kind of up to the player? Well, uh, it, it depends. Not everybody plays on them or has an interest in learning to work with them. Uh, if you have a particular interest in playing a lot of Baroque music, then it's kind of nice to, to be able to have a, a bow like this to play with. Uh, and of course, it goes even better if you have a Baroque violin, or in Allison's case, a Baroque viola. Uh, another one of the differences with the Baroque bow versus the modern one is that it's somewhat lighter. It's somewhat lighter, and, um, and it, so that makes it a bit more agile. Uh, so you can really get around the instrument pretty nicely, but again, it isn't like for big power playing. You'd never want to use this if you're playing a Mahler symphony. Uh, you'd never get the kind of sound out of it that you would want to have to play something like that. But for the kind of music that we're playing this weekend, Pirelli, Torelli, Bach, and Charpentier, um, it gets that kind of very light and airy sound, and very articulated kind of playing that, that we're trying to get to. And now here's a question that's on every, all of our viewers' minds is, is um, you know the bows are very expensive and can range between a little bit of money to a lot of money. Uh, what are the, are the broke bows very expensive as well? They can be, but it is possible to get a, a really excellent modern made reproduction, which is what I have. Same here, I'm playing yeah. a modern made reproduction. Yeah. And they are not all very expensive. Okay, well thank you for joining us today and we hope to see you guys at our concert for those of you that are watching. Thanks.